am I the only one who finds Overwatch to be really frustrating these days? This is the fundamental issue behind Overwatch currently. We need to figure out a way to normalize the experience a little bit more so that way when I click on the Overwatch rank button, I don't have to have a coin flip on whether or not I'm going to have fun. Well, I honestly think that ranked is a bit of a lost cause. Um, <laughs> I would just say, like, kind of ranked. Rank. How's it going guys, Breezy here to talk about a possible solution to this feeling of Overwatch and its detachment from competitive play not really being, well, competitive. I'll preface by saying this, I love this game. I've never played a game and gave much attention to a video game like I did and currently do with Overwatch. I've played this game since season 1 and I can't cease to lose fun when playing this game now. I remember a while back in the Overwatch community that there was a simple phrase that was spreading. Only two words, each having one syllable. Get. Good. I guess after several seasons into the game, the phrase has evolved into a new saying. It's still two words, still one syllable each. The new phrase being... Fuck. Ranked. With this in mind, the competitive Overwatch problem has been an ongoing thing for a very long time. Whether the problem stems from the meta of the game, problems with matchmaking, in-game toxicity, the list goes on. This discussion has been fueled by the recent State of Overwatch video created by Seagull, a former Overwatch League player and full-time streamer. Many solutions have been presented in the form of many Reddit posts, forum submissions, and YouTube videos similar to this one. Some of them good, and some, well, not so much. I'd like to stick my head into this and suggest a solution that may not be the best thing in the world, but at least can start some discussion around the idea going. With all of this in mind, welcome to Watchpoints. Watchpoints is intended to be a competitive clan-based game mode, designed as an in-game teamfighter and promotes team play. Actual 6v6 competitive team play. With Watchpoints comes three aspects. Watchpoints, factions, and guilds. Watchpoints will be certain interactive locations on the world map that are important to the Overwatch universe. Sound familiar? Think of maps like Watchpoint Gibraltar and Ecopoint Antarctica. These locations will be referencing current maps in-game, as well as locations that are important to the Overwatch lore outside of the game. Factions are the in-game groups you associate or ally yourself with. This system plays off very similar to TF2's Demo Man vs. Soldier event and Mortal Kombat X's Faction War system. In Overwatch's case, it would be Overwatch vs. Talon. With factions implemented, there will be a statistic known as Faction Influence. Each watchpoint will have faction influence that shows how much control each faction has over one watchpoint. This influence number can change based on the resulting wins and losses of the game mode's own 6v6 guild queue. At the end of each season, faction influence will factor into winning cosmetics or other in-game items. Guilds are going to be the backbone of the game mode. It's going to be a grouping system. This is where you find players and teams that are in the same faction. Guilds, much like other clan-based systems, will have certain roles tied to every member, such as the owner of the guild, guild master, which is essentially a team captain, players, etc. Now before we reach the gameplay aspect, you'll need to have a profile to show your proficiency in certain heroes and your rank. No, I'm not talking about your career profile, I'm talking about GAP which is an acronym that stands for Guild Agent Profile. This will be specifically for watch points, where it's used to show your stats as an individual, as well as your contribution to past guilds and faction influence you've gained in order to be recruited by guild owners. This GAP can be auto-generated from your career profile, but can also be manually edited so you can have your preferred heroes to play to show your current mains. Now, to the gameplay. After each season starts and you finish creating your GAP, you can either join an existing guild or create your own. After having enough players in your guild, you can access two main types of queues, regular guild queue and protect prohibit queue. Regular guild queue is just a, simply a team queue 
a team of six goes up against another team of six from two different factions and they fight to gain influence along with their own guild rank of course protect prohibit queue is a bit different it is similar to the regular guild queue but with one new aspect to the game your team as well as the enemies have the ability to prohibit certain heroes from being played in the game as well as protecting heroes from being prohibited from play Yep, this is the ban system that most people have been discussing for a while now. Teams will only be able to ban one hero, as well as protect one hero from being banned. Since some roles have limited numbers, this would cause a bit of trouble, especially for the current number of tanks and supports in the game. With this in mind, both teams can only prohibit one hero from the tank role, as well as only one hero from the support role at least until more tanks and support heroes get rolled out to the game. There is a third mode, but it isn't a queue. It opens up during every off-season period, which is the time in between the end of the old competitive season and a new one. This is conquest mode, where after everyone's guild rank has been finalized for the end of the season, tournaments are held. Brackets will be created for each guild rank, and clans square off against each other to triumph against other guilds in the same rank. So there'll be one for Platinum, one bracket for Diamond, one bracket for Masters, and one bracket for GM. Along with different queues comes managing the game mode, such as checking your individual stats as well as your guild stats in your GAP, searching for other guilds located at other watch points, checking your faction's influence on your watch points in relation to other watch points, and even checking your archives, which is a replay system identical to the Overwatch World Cup viewer where you can check your previous game's VODs, either on your own or with a lobby of your guild members. Well, all of this sounds good, but does it change how competitive play is now? Well, implementing this idea alone won't solve the problem. Maybe with a few changes to competitive play, it might? And by changes, I mean restrictions. The environment of competitive play seems to benefit solo queue and to some extent duo queue playstyles, while stacking as a team of six players is frowned upon. Don't six stack, don't say that, don't say that bullshit. <laughs> don't do that. No six stacking is allowed, bro. No six stack. Like, what's gonna happen is you you're not gonna earn anything, you don't gain anything from six stacking. You're gonna climb, you're gonna hit masters, maybe not GM, probably not GM, but like high masters, and then your six stack is gonna, they're not gonna be there every day, and you're gonna play on your own, and you're just gonna drop back down to diamond, you're gonna drop back down to platinum. The players in high elo, that four stack, and they five stack, and then they say, oh my god, look, I hit rank one, well, you know, I'm top ten, maybe I should get a trot, like, no, because everybody knows that you five stack, everybody knows that you six stack, you're not gonna get anything, because when it comes down to it, when you're put on the spot, and you're solo queuing, we all gonna know who's good and who's bad, so... That's just how it works. You, you don't gain anything from six stacking. You want to become a better player by actually working to deserve your spot. What I have in mind is to change competitive play to only accommodate solo queue players. This means no more stacking. No three stacks, four stacks, even six stacking would be prohibited from competitive play. And that is where watch points comes in. On top of this, competitive play would have a system where it matchmake players into teams without identical skill sets. This means not having multiple players who ran the same hero match made into a team, so no need to worry about having 4 mercy players or 3 grind mains on your team. Ranked won't be the only game mode getting restrictions. Watch points will need some too in order to mitigate any big exploitations to the game mode. The first one being that players won't be able to swap factions or watch points during the competitive season. This will mitigate players changing to a faction or watch point with the most faction influence last minute and gaining items because of it. Along with this, guild queues, which is the team queues mentioned earlier, will have a placements period in order to adjust for the correct guild rankings, make sure that players GM, for example, aren't joining platinum ranked guilds and pump stopping other platinum ranked guilds. With this restriction, anyone can join guilds within the same faction and watch point, of course, with any rank but guild queue will adjust correctly based on its individual members and the rank disparities between each individual member. During the recording of this video, I have discussed this idea to some of my friends that play the game over Discord, and they've helped me get a better version of this idea. 
instead of having themed based off of the Overwatch lore, they suggested have it based off of the Overwatch League. Instead of watch points, to call it League Play. Instead of having factions like Overwatch and Talon, to have them be based off of existing Overwatch League teams where players ally themselves as fans of, for example, London Spitfire, Dallas Fuel, Atlanta Rain, or even Shanghai Dragons if you want. This is just something I wanted to add here as an update, so back to the video. And, well, that's pretty much it for now. I am choosing to refrain from going into the exact reasoning for each individual aspect of this idea because I want to know what you guys think about it. I'll be doing a follow-up video to explain my reasoning as well as respond to your comments and questions. With this in mind, is this a good idea? Is this complete garbage? Would this actually change the game for the better? What would you change in order to make this idea better? Let me know about your opinions in the comments down below. I'll have a Google Drive link down in the description so you guys can view the watchpoints idea in a better format. Thanks for watching. Cue the outro.